Hey, yo, what is going on with it? Once again, bros, women, bronies, and bags are so talking to Nikiko Mori's out there. This is the one, the only, of course, Mr. Nintendo Sony Freaks.11, aka SS Anime PS5 fan guy here. If you're watching me on my big main channel, and of course, Manny will reign here. If any, any people follow me on Twitter and my rest of my social media networking accounts and all the other good stuff, most of you guys already know the intros, intros and outros, but any people don't know what it is. But, anyways. <laughs> I got about two little story, story little things to cover for you guys. One happened about six days ago, so almost a week ago, and the other one's a little bit older than that. So I'm just going to start the one I almost was a week and a half ago, which I had no idea this was even a fucking thing. And shout out to my freaking boy, as always, besides, you know, Proto Mario, Stone Fox Media for telling me about this, because holy freaking crap. <laughs> I had no idea this was even a thing. And I'm a freaking Pokemon fan, too. I should have heard about this shit immediately, ASAP. If any people are wondering, I have a tiny bit of, like, tape around my um, sunglasses shades. I had these things for about 11, 12 years already, so... Fortunately, they were, unfortunately, ready to break on me, so... Lens is still in there, just popped out, so... Hopefully it doesn't pop out during the end of this video, because... I <laughs> would suck a lot of ass. So without further ado, with all the BS aside, let's be done. Let's get right into this article. Get into it, baby, because I am hyped as hell for this one. Second one, I'm a little bit laughable about, but I'm a little frustrated. I'm hot. Why in the hell that even happened? Second one has something to do. If any people aren't going to stick to the rest of the article, the rest of the video, I'm just going to tell you, long story short, has something with the last Splatoon 2 players on the Nintendo Switch um, getting all LGBTQ, alt right, alt left, passive aggressive, fucking Anita Sarkazian BS that they're trying to lay down in this freaking. Thing, and then they're trying to push a furry agenda and it's like some other freaking crap I cannot ugh, boils the freaking hell out of my mind why the hell would they even be doing that in the game they're supposed to enjoy and play the game get away from all this BS real life society that they try to like constantly push up this fit, false ass piece of shit agenda all the time screw that crap man anyways so let's get into the first one. It actually comes from Eurogamer.net. I have it's been a long ass time. I think it's been about six, maybe eight months. The last time I read anything from Eurogamer.com. And this thing is going way too fast. I gotta slow it down a little bit. Anyways, there's that. And then I'll talk a little bit about the huge ass epic return. I heard about this about two, three days ago. Still pretty recent as hell. That freaking Misty and Brock from the original Gen 1 and Gen 2. Generation 1 and 2, um, anime series from the Johto Journeys and then the first one which was the Indo Indigo League they're making a return in Sun and Moon anime that's a huge ass fucking deal for me man holy crap I'm not saying I'm a Gen 1 or anything like that but I'm just saying just putting it out there it's pretty big ass intense news for any of you night us 90's kids back in the day that were actually um, growing up watching the four kids original version of Pokemon or unless you were living in the UK or Europe Australia probably has a different like broadcasting system out there it has a different name over there instead of WB other than that <laughs> man oh man it's pretty good big big ass shit not gonna lie um there's that news I'll cover for a little bit long story short oh just in case you're wondering I'm still wearing this 90s because it was only nine ten minutes ago when I finished the other reaction review segment video which I'll probably be posting up on Wednesday it's kind of weird it has something to do with the DC brand new characters called Black Manta sounds pretty epic Anyways, it says Pokemon Gold and Silver gets box released on the 3DS in Japan. I wish this was coming to the U.S. I really hope it is because I want to get my freaking hands on it the second this shit comes out, man. It says by Tom Phillips. Shout out to Tom Phillips for making this thing. So it says Pokemon Gold and Silver will get a special box release for the 3DS on the 22nd of September. Nintendo announced earlier today, which not really because this was about two weeks ago. This is old. It says, we already know that the Game Boy Color Classics wouldn't be arriving on the 3DS Virtual Consoles, but not that they would even be given a physical release. Wow, okay. So, Nintendo of Europe, it says, on the 22nd of September, I guess, I don't know. Yeah, September 29th over here, because it's a different little system over there in Australia and Europe for some reason. I don't know why. It says, for Nintendo of Europe... It would have been September 22nd, 2017. I don't know. They got a different way of saying the time, date, and week over there, a month. I don't know why they do it. Freaking weird as shit like that. No offense to any British people out there. I'm just saying. There are Aussies from Australia that do that. So it says, shiny packages of hashtag Pokemon Gold and Pokemon Silver containing a downloadable code will be, will be released at the shop. 
Yeah, this is from their official Twitter account, so this must be pretty damn big. So it says, but you shouldn't expect a expect to find a cartridge inside your box. We'll simply get a downloadable code on a piece of paper for you to enter via the 3DS shop, eShop. The boxes <clears throat> look identical to those of the original Game Boy Color launch launchable launch -able, I have never even heard of that word. launch I have no idea what the fuck that word even means. Whatever. Moving the hell on. With a big yellow warning that you'll need an internet connection to download the game. To be clear, these were the original versions of Gold and Silver as released back in 1999 for Japan. Because I know it was in 2000 when we got it over here, it was Gold and Silver. That's when we got it there. Not to the update of Heart Gold Soul Silver remakes available on the DS some 10 years later. You will, however, be able to transfer Pokemon caught in these games forward to other titles for Pokemon via bank. Via bank app. I don't know why the hell my fucking nose is itching so much. Let's move on. It says you will, however, be able to transfer Pokemon caught in these games forward to the titles via Pokemon bank app. Gold and Silver's arrival will be well-timed with Pokemon Go, with currently features Silver's legendary bird, Lugia, Gold's bird, <laughs> legendary bird, who ho -Oh is expected in the future. That's a lie, because that's not what their real official names are. That's just their default names. I think their official name was, I think, Jimmy and Silver. That's what their name was. I think their rival's name was Silver. I don't know. And then the, the protagonist's name was Gold. And I remember the girl for Crystal was Chrissy. A marina in that three-part anime, The Legend of Thunder Raikou. I remember that one. So, um, let's get on to the, unfortunately, a little bit more depressing news. I really don't want to talk about this. Well, as far as Ash, and, uh, Ash teaming up with Misty and Rock again, that's pretty huge-ass epic news. I'm not going to lie. I may just watch those few episodes or make certain cameo appearances. I don't only watch six or seven episodes of Sun and Moon, so I think there's, what, 60, 70, 80-something episodes already. I think the last new one that came out was with that really cute ass black chick, freaking Olivia. I think that was the only one that they came out with. So uh, yeah, there's that little scenario though. So food for thought. So this one, unfortunately, oh, damn it, man. I really hate to talk about shit like this, honestly. It absolutely pisses me the hell off. I have to talk about stuff like this, but it is what it is. I had to put my hand down to this. This one's one, the one that happened six days ago. This is more recent, unfortunately. So it says, Platoon 2's lobby fills with LGBT pride response to a few jerks. So pretty much social justice word is bull crap. If any of you guys want to leave the freaking, you know, positive to negativity, like, bullshit aside, you want to click out the video? No, I don't blame you at all. But if any people like hearing about this type of shit, like people that talk about it mainly most of the time, like fucking Monday Mad or Sargon of the Cod or Take Shot Action, Mr. Repsion and those people like that, and you could go on their channels because they probably explain a lot better than I do because I normally don't cover that type of news coverage or commentate on those sort of issues with the internet style, life, lifestyle, internet cultures, or, you know, just Antifa BS. I don't really talk about that crap. So it says, post in Splatoon Second Lobby on, let me see how long this thing is. Oh my God, there's so many pictures for this thing. Yeah, I'm not reading this whole freaking thing. It was that long. Screw that crap. Ho, ho, ho. They had another thing coming if you think I'm going to read all that. And there's just all these pictures you guys can look at. There. It's from Kotaku, so I don't know. Take this one on a grain of salt. It's not all their news is officially legit. Sometimes it can be made up and possibly fake. I don't know. So it says, post in Splatoon 2's lobby. And the person I created this one was Gita Jackson. So I guess shout out to her. I guess. <laughs> Post on Splatoon 2's lobby, go through the trends, just like the old-fashioned world. Weeks ago, it was a knack to jokes, and more recently, it was drawings of the furries. Right now, the Splatoon 2 lobbies are full of LGBT pride, and a few players that wished that this trend was over. Splatoon 2's lobby is ad adored, or at horn, I guess, I don't know, is adored by with most posts from the players. These are drawings from your fellow players to either hover about the <clears throat> heads or are graffiti, excuse me, not graffiti, graffiti onto the walls of the stages. Sometimes you'll wonder, you'll wander into the lobbies and wonder how or why this new trend has emerged. 
Why is it that everyone is always arguing about furries nowadays? Why are the people saying, quote, I wish teamwork was real, unquote. The latest of the trends is showing up to support LGBT players, especially trans players. Huh. Let me just not get started with that binary gender fluid thing. And shout out to this other good guy. Obviously, some of you people know he is Protomari. He talked about this six days ago. So I'll leave the link to the guy's video down below. If any people want to check it out yourself. <laughs> Something of another. I really don't want to get in those type of topics. I only knew what that was till a year or two ago. What the hell is trans and binary? Not having no sexual gender, just pretending to have one and not have one? That's weird as freaking hell. I don't understand that crap at all. There's a lot of these little school or high schoolers are getting into and college students are getting into nowadays. It's weird as shit. It sounds like some new age theology or, I don't know, new age Scientology, astrology type of BS that's way the hell out there, uh, beyond my understanding, uh, you have to be a marijuana meth head addict to see that crazy stuff, or eating shrooms like LSD and X, I don't freaking know, to be that freaking insane, All right, let's move it forward, so it says, platoon lobbies, so platoon lobbies trends go through the cycles of excitement and then backlash, it goes like this, someone will make a post about how, how they wished inklings were real, and then they memeified into I wish they have a helpful team members were real unquote quote unquote and then as people get sick of it the backlash begins and people will post quote I wish original joke structures were real unquote this isn't the limited times to Splatoon this is however that the jokes will get run into the ground all over the world but being LGBT isn't a joke or a trend it's a person's identity that's what they say I don't really don't agree with that type of shit, in my own personal freaking opinion. I don't care if any people are LGBTQ community, no offense to any of you guys, or trans or any of that. I'm just saying, just putting it out there, I really don't believe in a lot of that shit. That some of you guys like to shove down people's thoughts that are straight heterosexuals. You know, me, I like women. I was born to like women. I love the crap out of women. And I like, you know, breasts, legs, and beautiful butts and everything like that. It's sexy. It's, it's attractive to me. I love it. But, you know, opposites attract, in my own personal opinion. I'm not trying to get heated or debate any of you guys offended, step on any of your guys' toes or throw shade at you, your community or nothing. But some of you guys out there, you preach way too freaking much about being trans. Like, my God, we freaking get it, okay? You were a man, now you're a woman. You're a woman, now you're a man, okay? I don't need to hear any of that freaking shit. I'm my freaking, uh, oh my God, I'm, my Splatoon Nintendo Switch like um, profile crap. There's enough of that BS I gotta deal with that work whenever I go to my hotel casino jobs. It's not fun. Okay? Oh my god. So there's all these little pictures here. I'm not sure if any of you can see them. You probably see them over there by now. And there's all those little freaking posts that people were making. All this other stuff. Yeah, um, I really don't care about any of that stuff. I mean, if any of you guys really give two squat sports a piss about it, hey, that's cool with me. That's fine. That's your own thing. You do what you want to do. Whatever makes you happy, that's fine. I don't care. But as far as it goes for me, that's just a big-ass migraine waiting to happen the next day. Now, I really don't need any that experimental BS in my life. So it says, um, there's another one here. It says, I logged on to Splatoon 2. This is a tweet from somebody that was on there. It says, from 9 Volt. It says, I logged on to Splatoon 2 for the first time in a week, and it's turned into a Twitter argument. If you want to leave any of that shit behind, please leave it somewhere in like Tumblr, 4chan, or Reddit. That's the reason I don't really go into the, none of those websites where they're trying to push these beliefs and agendas down people's throats. It just sends a negative, vomiting, inducing vibe. I mean, I don't like that type of shit. I just don't. So, let's keep it moving forward. So it says, the Splatoon 2 lobby is in the backlash part-time part of this trend, kind of. Because this is about pride. Seeing players criticize their identities has only made the LGBT players even more prideful. The posts that they make are pretty innocent. Mostly, <clears throat> excuse me, mostly that they say that, quote, non-binary pride, unquote, or I love queer squids, unquote, but that they have become ubitessive. I have never heard of that, that word. Ubi, ubiquantos. I have no idea what that word even means. I'm not even going to bother looking it up. It's like Inkopolis is having its own mini Pride weekend. I never saw more than one or two posts that had Moralish 
Admalish, Admalorish, I don't even know how to say that word either. <laughs> I just feel like a fucking dumbass now. Admiralish, people for talking about their sexuality or gender identity, but it looks like the community's response for those, for those two, one or two voices was just to be more gay than trans. The way that these trends propagate is an utter mystery. Play players have very little control over what they see in their lobbies. And to what, and the only way to get posts that you don't like out of your site is to report them. We do not know that Splatoon players have a history while using, actually, excuse me, we do know that the Splatoon players have a history of using the lobby to display LGBT plus pride. Our very similar post exploded to the first game two years ago. Technically, posts about the LGBT plus pride have been floating around Splatoon 2 for two weeks now but in still smaller numbers. Over the course of the weekend, and the post about trans pride significantly outnumbers the people who are angry at the presence of the trans people in my lobby, but there's no other way of telling whether there's an algorithm or if there were any more other trans players out there. In any case, wall-to-wall -wall LGBT pride posts will eventually pass, but by next weekend, Inkopolis will have something new to cheer for. Who the hell knows? Overall thoughts, views, and opinions on that crap. I don't want it out of my life. Get the hell out of my freaking post. I don't want to see any of that freaking shit anywhere on my freaking like servers nowhere because it's extremely annoying as hell to see somebody push these like, oh, these stupid ass agendas. Even if a social justice warrior crap. Come on, man. Really? That's the reason why I even play video games and watch anime for it. To get away from any of that cock of shit out there. Crock of shit out there that people like want to like have you believe and brainwash every you into believing all their ideologies and stuff screw that crap mom i'm here to play the game have a good ass time have good vibes coming my way and have a real fun ass time with it you know after a hard ass day of work i really don't want to hear any of that shit screw that crap push it on reddit reddit 4chan and tumblr man that's what those other websites are there for social media websites are there for you want to want to preach all these ideology vibes on LGBTQ community and freaking binary gender fluid stuff or alt left alt right for microaggressors, transgressors, and all these other Antifa crap for social justice warrior dumb shits out there to like listen to? Go on those sites. Please don't do it on like some video gaming sites where I just want to sit there, play the game, have a good ass time, have a friendly competition tournament, and hey, hash it the hell out. You know, not any of this other freaking crap that these dumbass young little millennial dumb shits like to talk about. No, I don't need any of that. Please, get it the hell out. That's all I'm saying. And it's laughable too because they want to even put stuff for furries and freaking like other like, what's it called? What was it called? Furry furry people and then like um, otakus and weeaboos. That part's funny as hell. I'll, I'll admit that much. But the other stuff, when they start talking about microaggressions all right, all up, I just tune it the hell out because I have no zero interest in that type of shit news reporting from the internet that's trying to be real, especially with that Antifa crap, because I heard about that shit being an official, unfortunately, domestic freaking violence group, which is pretty sad, man. Honestly, it is. Uh, that's all I gotta say for now. I'm gonna shut the hell up now. It's already gonna be really, really late at night. I mean, no, it's like gonna be 8.30, but it feels like it's gonna be 11 or 12 by the time I'm done with this, so I'm shutting this down and I'm um, wrapping the video up. I'll leave the links in the description box down below. Cards on the side if you want to see it your own time, and I'm done here. Peace out once again, bros, women, bronies, and peg sisters. I will see you when I see you guys. Have a good day, have a good night, wherever you are at around the world. No drink, smoke, wait at the same time. Don't take the reckless. Keep it calm, keep it cool, keep it chill, keep it collective out there. And until then, next time, guys, peace out, ladies, and goodbye. Stay tuned, wherever it is. Give me a soon brand new on animals every single day. Excuse me. Keep it calm, keep it cool, keep it chill, keep it collective out there. And until then, next time, guys, peace out, ladies, and goodbye. Stay tuned, wherever it is. Give me a soon brand new on animals once again, almost every single day. Stay in the grand season, stay, stay, stay healthy, be easy to do yourself. Peace out, I'm not like sauerkraut, I'm gone to get a lot of here. Stay tuned for future content channel, stay tuned for more updates, and of course, as always, ladies and gentlemen, stay safe and stay more future content, commentary, and blogs on the channel, such as Nintendo, Sony, Microsoft, PC Gaming News, and of course, on this side of the room, I have my um, <clears throat> article gaming, anime, and talk related, and gaming, video gaming news, such as my video gaming article session reviews, video game um, journalistic review readings, and last but not least, my overall viewpoint and outtake of the video game industry as a whole in a nutshell. 
And on that side of the room, my overhead reaction will be with certain things. So I'm going to be in Pokemon fan animation related animation videos. And of course, as always, last but not least, my Marvel DC action adventure movie trailer reaction reviews. And of course, as always, my video game reviews, video game reviews, video game trailer reviews, and anime otaku related um, trailers out there that I may react to coming to September to a freaking laptop or smartphone near you. Who knows? <laughs> And of course, last but not least, officially not last but not least, but um, my regular reaction will be segments, and of course, my video responses and my rants. Peace the hell out, goodbyes. I will see you guys next time. Take it easy, stay safe. Don't buy into the rhetoric of the BS or all those little like LGBT SJW warrior pieces of crap stains out there. Screw them. Just shake off the freaking like um, trolls and haters, man. Just do it. It's for the benefit of the culture, internet culture. See you guys next time. Take it easy, and I'm out. Goodbye.